Jake and Amanda were looking forward to a weekend of camping for a few days, in the woods near their small town. As avid hikers and nature lovers, they hoped to explore new trails and enjoy the quiet of the forest. Friday evening after work, they packed for a two-night camping trip. Flashlights, batteries, first aid kit, non-perishable food, water bottles, sturdy tents, warm clothes and rain gear. They also took Jake's camera with them to take pictures and video of any wildlife they would encounter. The next morning they loaded their stuff into Jake's truck and drove the short distance to the entrance of the forest. As they parked and packed up, an ominous feeling swept over Amanda. Are you sure this forest is safe? This forest seems very dark and ominous, she said nervously. Jake laughed at her concerns. Don't worry, it's just the thick trees blocking the sun. We'll have a great time exploring the neighborhood. I promise nothing bad will happen. His assurances eased her worries a bit, and they set off down the winding path. The deeper they went, the thicker the trees became, blocking out almost all the sunlight. It was eerily quiet, save for the occasional birdsong. My phone isn't picking up any signals, I guess we're too far out of range. But that's part of the adventure, said Jake enthusiastically. After several hours of hiking, they found a nice clearing to camp for the night. They erected their tents together as the sun set, casting an orange glow on the trees. As darkness fell, they sat around the fire, roasting meat and telling spooky stories. In the middle of the night, Amanda awoke to the strange sensation that the invisible eyes of a ghost were watching them. She looked out of the tent with a flashlight, but saw nothing scary. Trying to get rid of her anxiety, she curled up and dozed off again. The next morning they packed up camp and continued exploring the new trails Jake focused on getting good shots on his camera, while Amanda still felt out of place in the gloomy forest. During the hike, Amanda noticed strange things that seemed to have no logical explanation. Broken tree branches neatly stacked in a pile, marks on trees that looked deliberately carved. But who was doing it and more importantly why? Jake, slow down, look at this. Doesn't this, don't you think it's weird? She called out to him. But he was too engrossed in taking pictures of distant birds to pay attention to her concerns. They walked for hours without meeting a living soul, which bothered Amanda, which didn't seem to bother Jake. In the evening they made camp in another small clearing. This time the ominous feeling came back to Amanda even stronger as night fell. She sat and listened for every strange sound while Jake dozed by the fire. Around midnight she heard a rustling in the bushes behind their camp. She woke Jake and asked him to listen to the sounds from the woods. They froze, listening as the rustling grew louder and a seemingly invisible ghost moved around their camp. Amanda shined the flashlight into the darkness, but it only illuminated an even thicker forest. She was sure something was out there watching them from under the cover of night. But Jake still showed no concern, saying it was probably a raccoon or deer. Exhausted and agitated, Amanda decided to try to sleep. But the feeling of being watched haunted her sleep. All night long she tossed and turned restlessly. At dawn, she woke Jake again, insisting that they pack up camp immediately. I have a really bad feeling about staying here another day. Please, can't we just leave? She pleaded. Jake sighed but agreed that the time spent on this trip was enough. As they dismantled their tents and stowed their belongings, Amanda noticed strange new marks on the trees around their camp that had been left the night before. Perfectly straight lines that didn't look natural. They hurriedly headed back toward the trail, Jake still trying to take pictures as they walked. But Amanda was only focused on getting out of this disturbing forest. As they neared the edge of the woods, Jake suddenly stopped. Did you hear that? He asked, lowering the camera. They froze, listening intensely. Heavy, 
Dragging footsteps were heard in the distance, approaching them unnaturally fast through the dense undergrowth. Amanda broke into a sprint, pulling Jake with her. She didn't stop until they, gasping with terror, sprinted out of the thicket and onto the empty road leading toward town. They jumped into the truck and sped away, not daring to look back at the ominous forest. As they drove in silence, Amanda talked about all the strange things she'd noticed in her constant feeling of being watched. Jake finally admitted that maybe she was right to be concerned. Who it was they never realized. Perhaps the ghost of the forest didn't want them to know the secrets that lurked in this forest.